start over here. Dark Travel goes in and the starter pulls the lever and they're off and racing from that 1800 meter marker. Pascal Samaray, a known front runner, not doing it too hard for now in the early parts of the race, actually looking for some cover for now, and the new leaders, Dark Travel, around runners, and Dark Travel's going to go off and lead them. Pascal Samaray in second, Kind Judy is racing in the lime green silks, past the 14.50 in third, about four or five lengths off them. Then we drop back to Cape Lights, further back in running is Eternity Ring, Cape Lights still trying to get into a position, Crimson Princess has got about six or seven to make up and they going a decent tempo for now franklin's won from last and tulip tree in her favorite position at the back end of the field and she'll have to get past them all about 10 lengths off them the speed's really good dark travels the leader that's gone four or five lanes clear Pascal Samaray in second. Then comes Kind Judy, Cape Lights, Crimson Princess, Eternity Ring. And then we drop back to Franklin and Tulip Tree. He's going to have to start up the engines. And that's going to have to get past them all. But it's Dark Travel, who's still about five lanes clear. Takes him onto the dog leg towards the 600. About five lanes clear. In second is Pascal Samore. Behind them is Cape Lights, Kind Judy, Crimson Princess, Eternity Ring, Franklin and Tulip Tree is now being asked to run by Diego de Gouveia and quickly makes up the ground. Dark travel, that stride is starting to shorten. Pascal Samora and Tulip Tree on the inside. It's still dark travel, but Tulip Tree on the inside. Crimson Princess is trying to take off. Tulip Tree comes at dark travel. Tulip Tree, Crimson Princess. Crimson Princess and Tulip Tree. Tulip Tree, Crimson Princess. Tulip Tree is in front for Diego and Tulip Tree is going to win a cracking race. Second, maybe Crimson and Princess, Dark Travels run third and Kind Judy in fourth. But Tulip Tree, and probably gone towards the inside where arguably, and I say this, I don't think there's any bias, but majority of the winners today have been coming middle outside, and Tulip Tree snuck up shortest route home, and it's welcome back Diego de Gouveia. A man that can ride, he puts in a lot of hard yards, and he'll be very happy with that performance. Well done to Stewie Pettigrew, and of course to Willem Ackermann and his lovely wife. Congratulations. They look to have a very smart filly on their hands. Number two, Tulip Trees come through to win here for the Stewie Pettigrew Stable, represented very ably by Nicholas Husia. Lovely to have Willem Ackermann on course here this afternoon. Must mention this one bred by Volker Bostrift and Ritz Fontaine. And Diego, it's lovely to see you up and about again. I know you took a nasty fall, and um, this is a lovely comeback win. Yes, definitely. You know, just thanks to Mr. Pettigrew for keeping me on her. Um, to Nicholas, to Mr. Ackermann especially. Lovely to ride him another winner. Um, back to this filly, she won a nice race today. Wasn't the plan from draw one to be so far back, but she's a very uh, funny filly. She can pull quite hard. So I came out well, and um, I didn't want to chase her to keep her spot because then it will be just fighting a losing battle. And just the most important thing is that she switched off and she won a nice race today. And uh, yeah, well done to the whole team. I thought it was a very clever ride. I must admit at about the 600, I was a little bit worried there, but gee, she's got a good turn of foot. Yes, definitely. That's why I wasn't worried when I was too far out of my ground because last time she came from the back as well. And I know she's got a turn of foot and she picked it up nicely today and she won another nice race. Well done to you. Thank you very much. Just before I go to Nicholas, Mr. Pettigrew, uh, Mr. Ackerman, to my sponsors, Eco Simply Solar. Thank you. Welcome back. There we go. I'd love to see Diego up and about. Nicholas. Well done, sir. Another nice horse on your hands. Congratulations. Yes, thank you, sir. Uh, I want to say thank you also to Diego. This horse is, is improving very good. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy uh, of this horse. And uh, I want to say well done to the owner also. The owner is here, Mr. Ackerman is here. And our team, Petty Crew Racing Team, uh, well done. And uh, our sponsor, uh, <laughs> Hollywood Pet. Hello. Hello, hello. Hey, well done, Nicholas. Thank you so much, Mr. Ackerman. Of course, uh, that's Nicholas Pettigrew, as we uh, fondly call him. Willem, lovely to have you on course. I've got to know you so well over the last few months, and uh, well done. Another good horse. Yeah. Um, I think originally when we started out with, with, with Julep, um, I think the first one was over 18, and everybody expected a little bit to be too far. Brought back to a 16, and as, as she's maturing, I mean, we're getting to a merit rating where there's no races. So you've got to take what's available and see what, 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 
what she's capable of. And she keeps on improving on, her, on, her, on herself. Yeah, because she's giving weight to older horses, and that's always a very good sign. Yes, so, um, I mean, if, as long as she's on the up, and Stuart knows what he's doing, so to Stuart, to Nicholas, and the whole crew, thanks, thanks to them. But yeah, I think she's done everything on her own. I know how passionate you are about your horses and being an owner, so it's a pleasure speaking to you, and I hope she is as good as we all hope. Thank you very much, Lauf. Much appreciated. Thank you, Willem. Willem, I come in. And uh, it's his horse that's come through and won her fourth run already, from uh, fourth win from nine. And yeah, she won't be stopping here. Stu Pettigrew, Nicholas, thank you so much. Uh, Diago de Gavea, Vilkapos Drift, and Ritzfontein. Good runs in second and third there as well, and uh, in that case, fourth, 2-1-7-6. Race number seven, coming up next.